All right, guys, it's a new week. It's Monday. Very busy week this week. Going to get ready for the Arnold Classic, which MP Subs has a booth, booth 822. We're going to be there Wednesday because it's a long flight from Vegas. And then we set up Thursday, then it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Going to be very exhausting. However, I'm starting the one test sipping the DHB, the Dehydro Bolden Nun experiment now this week. I just I just got to do it. I just, I just want to get started. So the plan is to do 400 milligrams a week. That's it. We're going to do that. Keep the TRT always stapled and just add in that solo compound. And I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do 100 milligrams Monday, 100 milligrams Tuesday, 100 milligrams Wednesday, then 50 milligrams Thursday, 50 milligrams Friday. So dosing Monday through Friday, take the weekends off. That equates to 400 milligrams a week. That's how I decided to do it because I like to do things frequent in smaller dosages. That's just the way I do it. And to add to that, I'm going to increase my G from two I use to four I use. Yeah, that's not keeping the variables exactly perfect, but I'm just being honest with you guys. I am antsy to try to get things moving. Um, you know, hopefully get some more results and change a little bit more. So yeah, I'm gonna increase the G from two to four. The DHB, uh, 400 milligrams a week. And we just got to have good faith that the stuff is what it is. It is kind of, it is an exotic hormone. It's not exactly on your everyday supplement list. So we can just cross our fingers and hope that it's real. I think uh, to determine perhaps that it's real, since it's a dehydro boldenone, I think it could act similar to Primavolin on my blood work as far as lowering est estradiol levels. So it could possibly have an anti-aromatase effect. I am under the impression that it does, and if you followed my Primo experiment, it Primo crushed my TRT. It crushed the estrogen down to like nothing. Um, so maybe that will be an indicator, perhaps other skewed blood, skewed lipids, uh, more so than before, because I have that reference point now, um, will potentially indicate that it's real, and of course results as far as getting harder, fuller, all that stuff. Um, so you know we can just cross our fingers and hope that it's real. And other than that, I do want to have a more solidified diet plan. You know, I've been kind of just instinctively eating very clean and very low calorie for the most part since the shotgun preps. Um, you know, some days four meals, some days seven meals, off and on. Carbs are always low fat, slow. I carb up on the weekend. I think I want to have something more organized. So I'm gonna, after the Arnold Classic, I can settle down after the chaos and create some type of base plan. And I'll go over that with you guys as well. I do want to uh, maximize things, so I think perhaps adding in two very high carb days on a back and a leg day, um, carb amounts, not sure, maybe 300 grams, maybe 500 grams, not exactly sure yet, it's just brainstorming. Um, perhaps even with intra-workout nutrition so I can maximize all my MPA subs, peri-series powders, add a carbohydrate powder, uh, even thinking about adding a Pedra or Humalog pre-workout, a little bit of insulin. Not set in stone, just brainstorming, and I will keep everyone informed on exactly what I do, of course, like always. So that is the plan so far, guys. Starting it now, I'll keep you updated on the post-injection post pain, the PIP, far as if the DHB is notorious, known to be painful. However, the stuff that I'm using apparently is not. Um, it's, it's rather decent, is what I've been told. So we're going to start that now, and I'm going to keep everyone informed. Obviously, this first week's going to be really busy, chaotic, I'm gonna be traveling, so not much probably to report after one week as hormone levels build up, but I will keep everyone posted. So this week's gonna be kind of nuts, but uh, here we go. All right guys, Tuesday night, long day of work. We had to pack up everything, rush it, uh, to get everything loaded for the Arnold. We're bringing MPA apparel and all, all that stuff. So it was a crazy day, it's really late. It's uh, after 10 p.m. I'm trying to get in a leg training session, which is uh, kind of crazy because I just did legs Saturday and they're still very sore. Today's Tuesday, not much time for recovery. But I don't like to train legs whenever I travel. You guys know I'm very particular about my leg training. I like to be in my own comfort zone. The gym that I like with all my equipment and everything. So I want to just bang out legs even though I'm still sore here tonight. I don't think I'll do anything crazy because really my glutes and hams are very sore. I did some, actually, uh, some exercises last workout that I wasn't accustomed to. So that's probably why my muscles are a little bit more sore than usual. So I'm gonna bang this out, be home probably pretty late tonight, wake up, take the plane super early in the morning. Um, I got my Mega Fit Mills uh, ordered. They don't get there till Thursday. So tomorrow's Wednesday, so I gotta wing it with tuna packets and tuna packets and maybe just tuna packets. 
got to do what you got to do. I want to stay, you know, on point. So without spending a million dollars at the airport with buying like a gross chicken salad, which is like overpriced. So that's what we're going to do. Headed to Arnold. This weekend's going to be the Arnold uh, action packed as far as this, um, this week's video. Pen the DHB, no pain, nothing noteworthy so far. So, so far so good. The olive oil is painless. <laughs> Hopefully it's more than olive oil. And we're going to keep you posted. We are in Columbus, Ohio right now after a delayed flight. Been eating these packets all day. About sick of them. Having some rice cakes pre-workout. We got a hotel with a nice little fridge, little stove right there, toaster, all that stuff. Decent bed. So we're going to go work out right now after a long flight. Hope I can get some water or Powerade Zero in me. And then Rachel and I are going to try to find something to eat besides rice cakes and tuna. So this is day one. We just arrived Wednesday. All right, guys, I'm hustling to go work out. Uh, gym closes at 8. I don't, I don't fuck with that, that powerhouse gym here in Columbus. It's a freaking madhouse. It's stupid. People want to talk. They can't get shit done. I go to this gym that is a gym across the street called YMCA. So that's what we're going to do right now. And hit some shoulders and try not to fuck my shoulders up. Knock on wood. I do not want to injure myself out of state because I tend to do that a lot in different gyms plus I'm probably not adequately hydrated but hope I can get a good shoulder pump without tearing something so we are at the YMCA and I'll film a little bit of the gym it's like a dungeon downstairs like a basement I'm sick of tuna and rice cakes we're going to Barley's brew pub because we're starving so this is right across the street from the convention center let's check it out Rachel has a salad, but more importantly, she has baked wings. Baked wings. She'll give her wing review. Sweet chili and uh, yeah. just regular wings. Those look really light. The glaze, chili. I'm gonna go wash my hands. And I have a monster salad with chicken breast and salmon, buffalo sauce, added black beans. I love black beans or garbanzo beans. So double protein. But that looks pretty good. All right, guys. It's Thursday morning. I'm going to do some morning cardio at 7 a.m. at the hotel. I don't think I'll be doing cardio any other time of the week. I'll be waking up doing the booth. And I'll be on my feet all day, so I don't think I need it, but I'm very tired. But we're going to do cardio this morning on Thursday. Um, but like I said, I don't think I'll be doing cardio any other day. So we'll get it in this morning and then have a... See what the breakfast has to offer at the hotel. See if I can eat anything decent. Probably have to do hard boiled eggs and peel, uh, pull out the yolks. That's probably about it. All right guys, breakfast at the hotel. Rachel's got adorable little mini waffles. Looks like a breakfast burrito. And I pissed off a lot of people by <clears throat> yanking out the egg yolks off of pretty much all the hard boiled eggs. Oatmeal with sugar free syrup and dry toast. So this looks like a pretty legit meal here. And I'll do some hot sauce on the eggs probably. Finally, my meals have been here. We've been setting up all day at the expo. Mega fit meals, pulling through 30 meals, chicken and salmon, asparagus. <sighs> and it's already six at night. And I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten either. So we're going to eat some Mega Fit Meals and then go work out and then go out to dinner. Mega Fit Meals, MPA 10. Whenever you guys are traveling for expos like this or any type of work travel or anything, always order your meals and be on point. Day two, end of the day, setting up with Justin right here. A very gigantic potential middleweight. Give a suck down. Eating, uh, we got the bodybuilder menu here. So we got the steak, flat iron, chicken breast, brown rice. I as well. I got everything the same, but I got salmon instead of steak. They gave me double, I'm not gonna complain. We got his lovely wife here with rice 
Is that Spanish rice? Yeah. And Rachel got the best meal of all. Zoom in. Some Texas toast, onion rings, and then a fat piece of meatloaf. Is that beef or turkey? Beef. Okay, even better. And there you have it. At 11.30 at night, which is probably crazy because we got to be at the booth at 8.30. Are you going to work out tomorrow? Uh, probably. What up, guys? A little after 5 a.m. And I'm going to the gym because I honestly feel that if I don't get it done now, I'm so exhausted after the expo being on my feet and socializing and drinking the shit out of me. I'm not going to have a good workout later, so I'd rather do it now at 5 a.m. before the expo. So it's freezing out. I'm hauling butt because we still have to hustle whenever I get home and uh, organize everything for the first day. So we're gonna train right now early as shit. Not get hit by cars across the road. And it'll just feel good to do it. If I do anything, it'll be cardio tonight, which will probably be unnecessary because I'll be doing cardio all day walking or standing on my feet. So this is how I do it. Walking around the expo, getting massage with a little tent machine. Oh, we got a little bit of bread. I was gonna say, a lot of butter. A lot of butter. Yeah. Wow. Look at this butter, boys. <laughs> All right, Matt. We need to move some stuff out of there. What were you eating? All these fries? Are these yours? Yeah, there are fries with extra sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Not salt, but extra table sugar. Was, uh, I don't know. It's a pretty good idea, though. We decided to go out to dinner, take everybody out, though, and worked at our food. <laughs> so, we're missing Italian, too. So, Matt, what did you eat tonight? What healthy food did you eat? What, um... I had a Kobe um, <laughs> Wagyu Kobe beef burger. You had a burger? I didn't believe that that was legit Kobe Wagyu beef because I swear yeah. to God that's like a hundred dollars a pound. No, so, and we're at Gordon Beer. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> I had a salad with. Uh, I don't know if that's chicken breast. That, that was like. I did Carl Budding lunch. That was like Kobe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like cold turkey. I'm probably like 10 grams of protein in that. <laughs> no fries? None of these like millions of fries or like all the the pound of butter we got Remember dropped off? Remember last year's meal with the burger place? Like pizza burger. Yeah. Like, we had like weird crazy burgers. Where was that, Terrence? Thurman's. Oh, that's right. Oh, Thurman's. It was so like narrow and possible. Bill was with us too. Well, we were like this. Yeah, everybody was sitting on each other inside.
last night here we're having dinner with uh, Natalia and her mom at Ted's something steakhouse. Rachel's pissed. Her Southwest flight might be canceled. Big fiasco. We're trying to enjoy ourselves here. Get some clean food for me and Natalia because we're both very picky. Here we go. Sorry, Rach. Here's my meal, chicken and sweet potatoes. What's what's Miss Natalia have? One sweet potato, one dry potato, and eight ounce filet. Bison filet though, even better. Bison. Buffalo. She's a little disappointed because they didn't have two baked potatoes. <laughs> Just Only one. one so. so we had to get the sweet potato. What if it's food or something like? And Rachel, unfortunately, we're dealing with a fiasco on Southwest and she's not ordered yet. She's not happy. I'll pause. No.